Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper. This is Takedown. From the grapple on the gridiron to the battle at the birthplace, neutral site duels are a growing trend in college wrestling. Oklahoma State and North Carolina State are now taking the idea to new heights by holding their upcoming duel in Naples, Italy. The event is titled Tussle for the Troops and will be the first NCAA wrestling event ever held outside North America. Here to talk about the matchup and the recent changes to his coaching staff, Oklahoma State's legendary head coach, John Smith. Welcome back, John. How are you? Good morning, Scott. Doing well, thank you. Recently, it was announced that Eric Guerrero would leave, and uh, that left everybody scratching their head. What would you do? Um, can you talk about the opportunity that presented, that was presented in his departure uh, for assembling a new, young, aggressive coaching staff? Well, you know, I just, uh, you know, you, you just look at look at people, and I don't think that. Uh, um, it, I didn't think that at the time this is what I was going to end up with. I think as time went by and opportunities uh, came about, uh, we ended up with, uh, you know, good young staff with uh, Caldwell. And, um, of course, we brought in Isaac Jordan from uh, Ohio State. And I've always uh, I've always respected the, uh, the Jordan skill. And, of course, I wrestled his dad um, in the NCAA championships and three style. And I just felt like, yeah, for us, maybe a little something new. And it's been been real positive having him. And then moving Chris Perry up and, and Zach Esposito up. So just gives us a staff that uh, we're pretty excited about. John, wrestling in Italy is a great opportunity for the sport and for Oklahoma State, NC State as well. But uh, other sports have been wrestling outside of the continental United States for quite a while. Why has it taken wrestling so long to catch up? Well, that's a good, that's a good question. Um, you know, I just think that wrestling at times just thinks that we're not, we're not, we're not supposed to be doing that when, uh, in, in the end, uh, yeah, we are. Um, I think that we create those opportunities and you know, like Tom Brands did at, uh, at Iowa, those are, those are, you just, you just got to recognize it. I think that we, we are a sport that, uh, probably we've had our best four or five years that we've had in a long time. Uh, maybe the best ever. I know Oklahoma state's attendance last year, you know, we set a record, uh, uh in Gallagher Iber arena, um, that can't be broke, you know? Um, so I just think we just got to recognize that, uh, wrestling's in a good place. Let's go do things, you know? And for me, Italy was the easy choice. Uh, an opportunity for your student athletes to experience uh, something that uh, for the first time and, and definitely for some of them, maybe the only time they get a chance to go overseas. Uh, what are your thoughts on the big 12 expanding once again with bringing in Northern Iowa? Well, I think it's been uh, important for wrestling in general. Um, I think that we are solidifying ourselves as a, as a strong conference. Um, there's a big commitment there from the big 12 office of um, wanting, um, it's just a signal that it's saying, hey, we want good wrestling in our conference. Um, you know, people aren't going to step out and invite people in unless they're committed. And Bob Bowlesby, obviously, at the at the, uh, at the lead there, um, is telling us, let's, let's uh, compete and let's uh, win, so let's have guys and, and teams win uh, conference and national championships in the Big 12. Uh, what can we expect from Oklahoma State this year as as far as young talent? Are any guys uh, on the roster or in the room anyway, do they have an opportunity to wrestle as a true freshman? No, no. Um, we'll have some new names. Uh, of course, at 174, Jacoby Smith, an Oklahoma kid out of Muskogee, Oklahoma. Went to junior college, wrestled there at NEO. Um, he was a two-time national junior college champion. He'll be a new face. We saw Andrew Norrisden two years ago. We're going to see him back, and along with uh, Keegan Moore from Minnesota. Keegan's a freshman, a uh, redshirt freshman, who's uh, got a lot of talent, a lot of ability. Uh, him and Marsden be duking it out for 84. Um, 97, I mean, excuse me, heavyweight. We've got a few people that are, it's going to be new, but uh, we're just going to have to kind of see how it goes. Uh, I think that uh, – um, we could redshirt some people um, and look to 
um, give them a little bit more um, time to, to grow and, and, and physically get better. But uh, it's, a, it's, it's a team that um, it's going to need to work. It's going to need to work if it's going to challenge anyone for a championship. John, thank you so much for the time today. We appreciate it. And November, uh, excuse me, January 5th is the date in Italy, and I'm looking forward to seeing the results. Great opportunity for the kids as well. John Smith has been our guest. John, thank you so much. Thanks, Scott. Mike McMullen, Matt Azevedo, they're next, so stick around. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Casey's General Store. This month at Casey's General Stores, try out our limited time only Philly cheesesteak pizza. And don't forget about our monthly pizza special. Two large single topping pizzas for just $20. Casey's, famous for pizza. I'm Don Beneveni, Beneveni Chevrolet and Granger. We recently made the switch to uh, LED lighting. Uh, we purchased it from uh, Yellow Blue. Uh, we've had a very good experience. The lighting has saved us approximately $1,000 a month. I made the switch to yellow-blue LED lighting, and you should too. Northwestern head coach Matt Storniello has announced the hiring of former Wildcat heavyweight Mike McMullen. The four-time All-American spent this past season working with the upper weights at Penn and will take over the role of assistant at his alma mater. McMullen joined us on Takedown Radio Saturday to talk about the move back to Evanston. It was very unexpected. Um, you know, it wasn't like I was actively looking to make a change. Um, Penn is a fantastic place. Uh, I have a lot of respect for, for those guys and how they conduct themselves and, you know, the momentum that they've created down in Philadelphia. Um, but, you know, an opportunity presented itself, like I said, unexpectedly. Um, Coach Torniola reached out to me with, you know, a thought and a prospect. And when looking at other programs that I would consider um, coaching at, you know, for me that list is pretty short. You know, I want to work with a particular type of kid at a particular type of program. Um, and being an alum, obviously, of Northwestern and having the opportunity to impact that program in a new capacity was a very compelling uh, thought. So I wasn't looking, but I thought about it long and hard and decided that it was the best move for me um, in my coaching career moving forward. And I'm really excited to, to get back to work in Evanston. Also joining our lineup Saturday, former Iowa State wrestler and now Drexel head coach Matt Azevedo with a new regional training center and a top 25 recruiting class. Azevedo has put together one of the fastest rising programs in the country. We talked with the Dragons head coach about his team's progress, potential, and the seven-year journey to success. It all started with our, our first recruiting class who uh, th those guys graduated last year. Um, so we, we lost three, you know, impactful seniors. Uh, Kevin DeVoy, Matt Samato, and, and David Pierce. And they've, you know, led our team to a, a great place. And they've, you know, showed the path of hard work, discipline, and, and having high expectations to our, our younger kids uh, that, that have been coming in. Um, but, uh, yeah, the first, the first three years or so were, were, were rough. Um, but uh, we, are, we are in a good place now. And, and recruiting has really been taking off. And we've got a lot of question marks, we've got a lot of what ifs, but what we have is a bunch of kids that are focused and are working hard and, you know, have their sights set on the national tournament. So um, it's an exciting time for our program. I think we've got a lot of momentum. Alumni support is through the roof right now. And, um, you know, the, the, the recruiting has been, you know, 
I think, mirroring that. So, you know, it's just time for us to really make some noise at the national tournament. USA Wrestling's Folk Style Tour of America kicks off November 9th. On our way to break, let's take a look at the dates you don't want to miss. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Yellow Blue LED. Stay tuned. This month at Casey's General Stores, try out our limited time only Philly cheesesteak pizza. And don't forget about our monthly pizza special. Two large single topping pizzas for just $20. Casey's, famous for pizza. Wow, 40 years. Time really flies. Don't seem like it's been that long. It seemed like only yesterday that I started out route delivering it to the stores. For over 40 years, we're really proud to keep the same quality ingredients and not change our recipe. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary by joining into our cookies recipe contest with a chance to win a Traeger Bronson 20 smoker. You can enter it on our Facebook page or cookiesbbq.com. Thanks for 40 years, and we'll see you in another 40 years. Cookies is the one. What's up guys, I want to tell you about a new product that I am extremely excited about. It is the Pure and Clean Sports Skin Defense. It comes in a 16 ounce spray bottle and it comes in a little bitty travel size spray bottles. I have one of these, throw it in my bag, go straight to the gym. A lot of these gyms I train at, whether it be boxing, wrestling, kickboxing, grappling, strength and conditioning, it all has bacteria floating around, they all have viruses floating around, they all have fungus floating around, and the last thing you want is to get a fungus, a virus, get sick, any kind, of, um, any kind of wounds that are gonna turn into any kind of uh, skin infections to take you off of the mat. Every single second that you spend off the mat or out of the gym is one second that you're wasting. So, Pure and Clean Sports came up with an amazing solution to give you the right amount of protection on your skin. You spray it right on your skin. Stay pure, stay clean, checking them out. PureandCleanSports.com. George Mason University has a new head man. Just three months after the departure of the legend Joe Russell, the Patriots Athletic Department has announced the hiring of North Carolina Associate Head Coach Frank Beasley. He joins us live at the Nike Hot Seat. Frank, welcome back. How are you? Doing great. Happy to be here. Welcome to the Nike Hot Seat. You leave a, a top 20 wrestling program in North Carolina State to, to take over a program that uh, at one point, a few short years ago, was on the block. It was either going to go away or it was going to improve. And I got to tell you, the the improvement in the George Mason program, the Patriots wrestling program, has been nothing short of stellar. There's still room to grow, though, and it's your job to take it to the next level. Your wrestling pedigree uh, in coming to, to George Mason is exceedingly impressive. I talked with uh, Pat Papalizio yesterday about your progress as a coach. Brad Edwards has reflected on it. It's progressive. Uh, you're one of the top recruiters in the country, but yet one of the youngest coaches in the sport. What's that like being in your shoes? Well, you know, it's an exciting time. You know, uh, George uh, Brad has a big uh, vision for George Mason University, and you know, he wants to see us compete at a very high level. And 
you know, he really, really sold me on his vision and, and I'm just excited to work with him. I mean, he's a, he's a really intelligent guy and, and wants to see the wrestling program grow and develop. And, you know, you said a few years ago, you know, it wasn't in that great of shape, but you know, his vision for the future is nothing but success. And, and, uh, you know, that's not a, a worry there anymore. Um, we're uh, stable and, and building. Joe laid a great foundation with the program, and, and I uh, look forward to continue to build that. And, you know, um, we've got work to do, but, you know, I certainly think uh, we're going to build a top 20 program. Let's talk a little bit about the past just for a moment. Uh, when when Joe Russell was hired, he had a um, an incredible offer, I think, to, to resurrect a program that had fallen on some hard times, but yet was given the opportunity to do just that. He is a guy that has never said no to a possibility or an opportunity. Uh, and, and I, and I see the same thing in you when you and Pat, uh, were at Binghamton, you were resurrecting a program there. Now you're taking over a program that has solid footing and a great athletic director. Somebody has voiced his opinion about the sport. Um, did that, did that come into play when it, it took, uh, you know, when the opportunity was, was given to you? Absolutely. There are certainly some parallels there, uh, with Binghamton and, you know, I'd been at some other, other places before that. And, and we had some success at some, uh, you know, uh, programs that were underfunded and, and, uh, you know, um, George Mason is not do nothing but increase funding and, and, uh, improve the program. So, you know, it's, it's the right time to be there. And, and, uh, I definitely can draw on my experiences at Binghamton and, you know, I'm fortunate to have some great mentors like Pat and, and John Stutzman and, and some others that I've been able to work with that, uh, have kind of, uh, helped me a lot and, and paved the road. And, you know, uh, we're going to do a very similar thing as to what, you know, happened at Binghamton and, and, uh, and hopefully more. Five seasons as a member of the Wolfpack coaching staff, um, in the span of time that you were there, you coached NCAA champs, seven All-Americans, seven individual Atlantic Coast Conference champs. Here's where it gets impressive. 31 NCAA qualifiers, including 18. And I, I talked with Pat about this yesterday, 18 in the past two years. So many of these athletes you had a touch on, and that's pretty special, Frank. I don't know how you replicate that or improve on that, but that's a pretty impressive resume. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I do plan on improving on that. And, you know, I think, uh, I think George Mason's a special place and, and, uh, you know, I think it's just primed to have a breakout success. It's not take time, um, to get to where I want to be, but, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a special place. And, you know, with Brad Ed, uh, Edwards leadership, um, I think you're going to see a lot of sports kind of across the board, just continue to raise and develop. And, and, uh, we, uh, we plan to uh, win at a very high level. I think that's, uh, in- Incredible. Uh, I know what you've done there and what you are intending to do. Uh, who's going to be assisting you? Uh, so uh, right now, uh, Mark Weeder, Kane and Bethea, and uh, Zahid Cardbo are, uh, are on staff. And, you know, I, I'm just uh, I, I was there this week just to kind of start getting to know them and, and develop a relationship with them and the team. And and uh, and then we'll evaluate everything moving forward and, and see where we're at. He is Frank Beasley, the second in the Nike hot seat today. Frank, we appreciate you taking the time. We wish you the best. We're along for the ride. All you need to do is pick up the phone, let us know what's going on. We'll be there for you, okay? Appreciate it, Scott. Maryland Terps head coach Kerry McCoy is up next. Stick around. You're watching Takedown. Thanks to Nike Wrestling. The war raged for generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. The warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defense so defend what you have built.
In addition to the neutral site duel between NC State and OSU in Italy, Maryland and Rutgers will hold a unique event this November in New York City. On November 4th, the Terrapins and Scarlet Knights will square off in Yankee Stadium as part of a football wrestling doubleheader. Here to talk about his program and the upcoming battle in the Bronx, Maryland's head coach, Kerry McCoy. Maryland and Rutgers will hold a very unique event this November in New York City. November 4th, the Terrapins and Scarlet Knights will scare, square off in Yankee Stadium as part of a football wrestling doubleheader. Here to talk about it is that man, that myth, that legend, Kerry McCoy. It's called Battle in the Bronx, uh, Kerry. What are your thoughts about this event? It, it's an awesome event. I mean, it's it's definitely one of the, the first of its kind. Um, first time a wrestling match is going to be in Yankee Stadium. We've got the doubleheader where we wrestle uh, Rutgers and then our football team plays against Rutgers. So it's, it's just a great event and, um, you know, a little bit special for me since I'm from New York and, and grew up, you know, right down the road, in essence, from Yankee Stadium now to be able to go in and see where such great tradition and championship events have been held and how to participate. It's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Coach, there's uh, one young man I do want to talk a little bit about, and that is an NCAA qualifier just last year, a Big Ten placer as well, uh, taking uh, or finishing six in 2017, a redshirt junior, Alfred Bannister. It's a special young man. Yeah, yeah, Alfred, his nickname is Baby J, and um, it's kind of funny when we say that, people always get a double take, but you know, he's one of the most successful wrestlers in Maryland history, um, more wins, more pins, just four-time state champ, and um, it's great to keep those type of kids in state. And um, he, he's had a good year, good run for us, um, really good retro year. Then he kind of hit some ups and downs during his uh, retro freshman year. And then last year, made it to the NCAA tournament, was uh, two rounds away from placing and put himself in position right now. Where he's going to make a run this year, and we, we expect to be a two-time All-American and, and make a run for a national championship in the next two years. Maryland will be wrestling uh, four Big Ten opponents at the Xfinity Center, o Iowa, Ohio State, Penn State, and Min Minnesota. This is not an easy schedule. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be a great great schedule to promote, get a lot of fans out, and hopefully get a big, strong home advantage, and we can do some things. So, you know, as the saying goes, iron sharpens iron, and that's one of the best benefits of being in the Big Ten is that you get to wrestle the best of the best of the best. And um, we're excited for the opportunity you know, the challenge, we're up for it. Our guys will be really ready for the postseason with our regular season competition. And it's uh, it's nice to be able to have those type of things and judge yourself, engage yourself early. And then at the end of the year, you know exactly what you do to reach your ultimate goal. New assistant and new faces on the team, on the roster. Who makes the cut for the uh, for the first year, in your opinion, Coach? Who starts? We've got, you know, we've got a lot of great guys. We've got 13 freshmen in. Um, probably the, the biggest – Biggest standout on paper is Kyle Cochran, two-time New Jersey State finalist, New Jersey State champ, high school national champ, NHSCA um, junior national champ, Super 32 champ. He just, you know, he, he did some great things in his high school career, and um, he's really excited to wrestle. He's great on top, got a great gas tank. He's just coming in. He's set himself apart as a leader right off the bat. Um, we've got a couple other kids. Danny Bertoni is a four-time Maryland State champ. Um, he was you know, I think there have only been 12 or 13 guys to win four state titles in Maryland. He's a multiple-time national high school All-American. I'm really excited for him to come in and, you know, stay in state. Uh, Quinn Devaney wrestled at McDonough, one of the best schools in the country, um, right up the road here. So having him come in, multiple state placer, multiple All-American at the national preps, and i um, really excited about him. And then we had um, Mansour Abdul-Malik, who's a Beast of the East champion. He's an Ironman placer, national prep All-American multiple times from right up the road. So we were able to keep some of our in-state talent in and um, was excited to be able to keep those guys close to home. And then we got another Pennsylvania addition, Hunter Baxter from Pine Richland High School. It's a two-time high school state placer in Pennsylvania. You know, wrestled for the Young Guns Club, which obviously anybody knows wrestling knows how successful that program is and what they're doing. So it's nice to be able to pull a guy like that in this way. And, you know, we had other guys that came through that you know, are really going to enhance our program. Some guys from New York, some guys from PA, you got some guys from New Jersey. So really get to spread out our our reach in our, in our recruiting and looking forward to continue to build more guys in from all over the country. Kerry, we appreciate you taking the time. We know you're a busy man, but we appreciate the time. Yeah, Scott, you guys do a great job. I'm really excited for this coming season and look forward to all the things you guys are doing. It's going to be a fun year. And, you know, as always, go Terps. 
All right, special thanks to Carrie McCoy, John Smith, Frank Beasley, and all of our guests on today's show. Don't forget to check us out online for the wrestling news, interviews, and weekly prizes you've grown to expect. It's all free at TakedownWrestle.com. Until next time, from our studios in Des Moines, Iowa, I'm Scott Casper. We'll see you next week.